They send us warnings, just kind of advice what to do, what not to do, stay away from the protest areas and things like that. But 43-year-old Sonia Young got the warning last night. Exercise a high degree of caution is the message the Canadian government is sending to all travellers headed to Hong Kong. With two kids by her side, Yong is not taking it lightly. Our eyes have been on the news, watching to see what the protesters are doing, what's going on, the violence that's been going on. Um, it's definitely concerning. The federal government has increased its travel warning for Hong Kong. Mass demonstrations have crowded city streets for months, sparked by a now defunct extradition bill and wider calls for democratic reforms. How the government is ignoring all of this, it's just going to tear the city apart further. Vancouver-based student activist Joel Wan says travelling Canadians should be cautious. To date, thousands of tear gas grenades and rubber bullets have been used on demonstrators in the city. Earlier today, hundreds of protesters occupied the city's airport, handing out anti-government leaflets to visitors. Travellers here have been keeping tabs. People that have arrived have said that it's, it's very peaceful. They're just sitting there singing songs and really just trying to make this issue um, a global, you know, let people all around the world aware of what's happening. These passengers are taking their chances. Many stand in solidarity with the demonstrators. The Hong Kong people, they are fighting for their freedom, you know, and their, their right for freedom of speech. The Hong Kong government doesn't really, like, do much things to improve the situation. Benjamin Gonzalez is considering going to a protest. It would be um, a good message to send our kids and to show our kids and tell them why we would be doing it. A conflict showing no signs of slowing down. Travelers are advised to register with the federal government in case there are any more safety warnings. John Hernandez, CBC News, Richmond.